Amazon Detective makes it easy to analyze, investigate, and quickly identify the root cause of potential security issues or suspicious activities. This video shows the start of an investigation flow into activity perpetrated by an assumed role. It mirrors the investigation flow covered in the AWS security blog post, Analyze and Understand IAM Role Usage with Amazon Detective. The investigation starts with a guard duty finding that is associated with an assumed role. It uses Detective's role session analysis to identify the user that assumed the role and looks into the pattern of activity for that user. Finally, the investigation identifies another role that was assumed by the same user and views the activity for that role. IAM roles allow you to delegate access to users and services so that they can manage and get access to your AWS resources. However, using roles can also make it difficult to determine who performed an action. Uncovering this information from CloudTrail logs is difficult and time-consuming. The difficulty is increased by the possibility of role chaining, where a resource assumes multiple roles in sequence. Detective automatically collects CloudTrail and VPC flow information from your monitored accounts, including accounts that do not have these types of logging enabled. It uses this information to analyze and visualize role usage. In Detective, a role session represents an instance of a resource assuming a role. You can use role session information to quickly determine which resource assumed a role, how long the resource used that role, what activities were performed during that time, whether the resource used role chaining. To demonstrate using role session information in a detective investigation, we'll start with a guard duty finding. This particular type of finding, Stealth, IAM User, CloudTrail Logging Disabled, indicates that CloudTrail Logging was disabled in an account. This could indicate that someone is trying to cover up other activity. Because Detective receives CloudTrail traffic directly from AWS, it receives information about API calls that were issued after the logging was disabled. To investigate this type of finding, and determine whether this issue is a cause for concern, we need to answer the following questions. Which user or resource disabled CloudTrail? What other actions did they perform after they disabled logging? Is their access pattern and behavior consistent with their previous access patterns and behaviors? In the finding details, the affected resources field identifies demo trail IAD as the trail where logging was disabled. The user type is assumed role, and the user name identifies the role that was used to disable the logging. You can use Detective to identify who specifically assumed the role to disable CloudTrail logging and what activities they performed after they disabled the logging. From the finding details, choose Investigate with Detective, then choose the finding. The Detective Console opens to the Finding Profile. A Finding Profile contains visualizations to analyze the activity associated with the affected resource. The Scope Time controls the time period used on the Profile Panels. By default, the Scope Time is set to the time period when the finding was observed. You can adjust the Scope Time to display up to 12 months of information. This expanded view can help you to review and understand resource behavior or to quickly triage and delve into potential issues. In this case, we'll keep the default scope time. Each role session consists of a role session name and a unique role session identifier. The role session identifier concatenates the identifier of the assumed role and the role session name. If best practices are followed, then the role session name identifies the entity that assumed the role. For more information about best practices for role session names, See the blog post Easily Control the Naming of Individual IAM Role Sessions. Because this finding is associated with a role session, the finding profile includes the role session details. In the role session details, the Assumed By field indicates that the role was assumed by a user with a username of Sarah. You can see this username in the role session name. Detective used the role session information in the CloudTrail logs to identify the user Sarah as the resource that disabled the CloudTrail logs and caused the finding. This answers the question of what resource performed the action. The role session details include when this role session was first observed. The first observed date indicates that the user Sarah assumed the role well before the current scope time. 
This means that we can use the New Behavior Role Session tab to compare the user's previous activity to the finding activity. The newly observed Geolocations Profile panel shows that the user Sarah issued API calls from within the United States. New locations are highlighted in orange. Because this location is highlighted in blue, we know that the user Sarah has a history of issuing API calls from this location. This implies that the user credentials were not compromised. The New Behavior tab also shows API calls that are newly observed. Other than the Stop Logging call, there is no other unusual activity. Other profile panels show API calls with a higher volume of activity, newly observed autonomous system organizations, and newly observed user agents. These profile panels also do not show any unusual activity. This helps to confirm that the user Sarah is the actual user that disabled the logging. Next, we will look further into Sarah's activity to determine whether Sarah might have disabled the logging accidentally or if it was a possible malicious action. On the Overview Role Session tab, the overall API Call Volume Profile panel shows the volume of successful and failed calls over time. The current scope time is highlighted. The baseline shows the average activity over time. This provides an overall image of how the user Sarah uses the permissions that are granted by this role. To display more details about the API calls that were made during the scope time, we'll choose Display Details for Scope Time. The activity details show the involved IP addresses, API calls, and access keys. The API Method tab shows the list of API methods that Sarah issued calls for during the scope time. Not surprisingly, the list shows the Stop Logging call. The list also contains the Assume Role call, indicating that Sarah assumed a different role. When a user assumes a different role after they have already assumed a role, it is called role chaining. Assuming a different role can be done for legitimate reasons, such as needing additional permissions for a specific action. However, it can also be used to hide other activities. We need to dig further to uncover what other activities Sarah performed after assuming the new role. To do this, we need to find out what that other role was. We'll start by looking at the profile for the role that was used to disable the logging. From the Role Session Details, choose the role name. The Role Profile provides details about the activity performed by a role. The Resource Interaction tab lists resources that assumed this role, roles that this role assumed, and role sessions that involved this role. Resources that assumed this role list the IAM users, federated users, roles, and EC2 instances that assumed the role. The list includes information about when the role was assumed and the associated account. This information can help to identify cross-account role assumptions. We see the user Sarah in the list. Assumed roles list the roles that this role assumed. This list can help you to identify and understand role chaining. In this case, we see that the current role assumed the role demo role 1 around the same time that our original CloudTrail logging disabled finding occurred. Sessions involved list the role sessions that involved this role. The list includes role sessions where the current role was assumed and role sessions where this role assumed other roles. This list contains two role sessions that have a session name of Sarah, the session where the Sarah user assumed this role, the session where this role assumed the role demo role 1. We want to see what other actions the user Sarah performed after assuming Demo Role 1. We can get this information from the profile for the role session. In the Sessions Involved list, in the entry where this role assumed Demo Role 1, choose the session name, Sarah. We are most interested in the API calls that were made during the role session. From the overall API Call Volume Profile panel, Choose Display Details for Scope Time, then choose the API Method tab. We can see that Sarah issued the Describe Instances command. This tells us that Sarah determined the types of EC2 instances that were running in the account. We also see failed calls to the Attach Role Policy API method. These calls could indicate attempts to elevate permissions in the account and would justify further investigation into the user's actions. So what have we learned? The user Sarah disabled the CloudTrail logging. The pattern of activity for Sarah is consistent with past actions. The user Sarah assumed another role after the logging was disabled.
This new role was used to view EC2 instance details and attempt to attach IAM policies. Based on these discoveries, you could investigate further to answer the following questions. What did the user Sarah do with the role demo role 1 in previous sessions? Is that activity consistent with past activity? What activities are being performed across the account? Are those activities consistent with Sarah's activities? To summarize, Detective uses role sessions to track activity performed by a resource using a specific role. Detective displays details about roles that are assumed, including the time period when the roles are used and the activities that are performed. You can use this data to identify and follow role chaining, where a resource assumes multiple roles in sequence. Role chaining can be used to try to hide activity. To learn more about Detective and get access to additional resources, see the Detective product page at aws.amazon.com detective.